it's dawn and it's art time. Let's go to the table. Hi, it's me again. Today we're going to do a tree ring pour. I've got my paints mixed up here except for the pink. I didn't have quite the right shade. I've got a light pink and I've got a magenta, so I want to mix them together to make a nice hot pink because this pour is going to have a lot of black and hopefully pops of color. I'm using my flood flow trowel here. I'm going to mix it about one to one with the paint because the 2D fruity, the light pink, is on the thin side. Normally I put a little more flow trowel in, but today I'm just going to mix it one to one. The two colors are Artist Loft Magenta and Craft Basics 2D fruity, and one was too dark and one was too light, so we just want to mix up the perfect color and I thought well I'll do that on camera so you can see how I mix my paint although I don't usually do it on camera. That looks good. It's brighter than the magenta and I'll show you the tutti fruity. It's almost a bubble gum or Barbie pink but together they make a nice bright hot pink almost reminiscent of mm, bad boom butt pink. Yeah I went there. I suppose I should apologize. Sorry not sorry. Anyway, back to the paint. It's a little on the thick side and I want it to be the consistency of melted ice cream. So I'm going to stir that water in well. I'm going to try to scrape up all that paint off the bottom so it doesn't end up lumpy. And that's looking just about right. Give it a few more stirs then we can set it off to the side. I'm going to do my pour from an 8 ounce cup. Where is my 8 ounce cup? Um, oh, off camera, excuse my reach. Basically, I'm just going to layer the paints in this cup. I have this gold. I'm only going to use a little bit of it. I didn't just mix it up. It's from a pour I did the other day. And I don't remember if it has silicone in it, but even if it does, it's only a little bit. And I'm only going to use a few drops of the gold, so it should be good. So I'm going to spend a few minutes layering this paint. It's going to end up being a dark painting because of the black, but I'm hoping there'll be nice contrast between the black and the brighter colors. It might look like a galaxy. It might look like a geode or a crater or even a pimple. You never know what you're going to get. I'm going to speed this up because I'm just layering paint for the next couple minutes. Be back soon.
that's pretty much all the paint that I have mixed and I think I have enough in my cup to cover the canvas. This is a pretty metallic purple. I hope it shows up well. Okay, it's the moment of truth. I'm basically just going to pick it up and pour it, but in little tiny circles in the middle of the canvas. And the different colors will hopefully show up in rings that spread out across the canvas. If I could pour this left-handed, you could see better, so I apologize. But I'm, I'm not very dexterous with the left hand, so... You can see lots of little colors showing up. Look like little slivery rings, but we'll tilt the paint after I've got it poured, and it'll stretch those rings so you can see them better. It does look very dark though. I'm glad the bright colors that I chose are popping against the black color. It could be a good painting. We'll know soon enough. This takes patience to just keep making little circles of paint until the cup is empty. If I didn't do the little rings, it would just be a straight pour. And the effects are similar, but if you do it in a tree ring motion, it, it does blend the colors a little differently than a straight pour. Getting towards the end of the cup, and I think I had more black paint in the bottom, so ugh, maybe my middle will be darker than I want it. I'm just about done here. I'm sorry you can't see better. Okay, that's it. Well, it looks kind of purpley, but you can see little, little flecks of other colors and little rings. So we'll just start moving the paint. It's a pre it's pretty concentrated in that spot. It's heavy, so I can kind of swirl it around the canvas a bit to stretch the paint and show more colors. Hopefully, it might pop a few cells. But I don't want all the rings to run off at once. We are going to run some of this paint off the side, but we don't want to run all of it. So we're just going to kind of slowly cover the canvas by tilting it around. I'm going to speed this up again, because as I've said before, tilting is slow work and sometimes not more interesting than watching paint dry. just about got this fully tilted. I just have this corner over here to cover. There's a pretty blue color near the corner. I hope I don't have to roll all of that out. It is surprising how much the purple metallic took over. I thought the black would be the dominant color and actually it's the purple. It seems like it's mixed with the black. And unfortunately 
the greens and the pink and the gold don't really show up at all. But it still is an interesting piece. This corner is just about covered. Um, I don't know if I want to stretch that a little more. It is kind of dark on the left hand side. Maybe we should run some more of that black paint on. Maybe stretch those lighter colors across the canvas just a wee bit. I think it looks more like a geode than a galaxy. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like it better that way or if we should give it a turn. That's not bad. Keep going. I think maybe put the light colors on the top. I'm just going to run some more of this dark off. Hopefully stretch the lighter colors just a little bit more so the painting's not so dark. Although I do like it. I knew it would be dark when I started. Almost looks like marble at the top there. It should make for an interesting piece when it's dry. I do love the look of a tree ring pour. They have a lot of visual interest to them. I think I like it best this way. It kind of looks like an amethyst geode with the predominantly purple colors, although it's a little dark at the bottom. Oh, I want to save those rings, so I am just going to knock the heavy paint off the bottom. That tends to drip, and sometimes it'll pull the design off the front. We don't want to do that because we like it. So there you have it, a tree ring pour. I'll be back with a close-up momentarily. Here is the finished tree ring pour painting. I'm zooming in so you can see the contrasting colors, the interesting lines. You can really start to see the metallic paint sparkling through. There's more of the pink and the green showing near the top, but overall I think it looks like an amethyst geode. So I'm very pleased. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe and you won't miss any of my future videos. Bye till next time.